This train is the original penicillin brought to Peoria in 1941. The collection began when the first strains of penicillin were brought to the U.S. from England as part of the successful effort to mass produce the antibiotic. Those samples are among the more than 100,000 strains maintained by USDA's Agricultural Research Service as part of the world's largest culture collection. It's a major resource of materials for scientists from around the world. At the moment, we're actually supporting five different genome sequencing projects throughout the U.S. and the world. In the last year, we sent out about 6,600 strains to 43 different countries. About 85% of our strains are stored as freeze-dried material in large commercial refrigerators. For things that we can't freeze-dry, then we have liquid nitrogen storage. The samples of bacteria, fungi, and genetic material are cataloged in a searchable database. Technology has made that easier over time. In the early days, all of the ampules were labeled by hand. That's incredibly tedious. This labeling equipment sprays the labels onto the glass tubes, simplifying the process. Samples from the ARS culture collection are extremely important. For instance, the samples promote greater public safety by helping food safety agencies identify specific pathogens linked to foodborne illnesses. The collection also played a pivotal role allowing scientists to identify a mold that causes eye infections among contact lens wearers. At the National Center for Agricultural Utilization Research in Peoria, Illinois, for the U.S. Department of Agriculture, I'm Pat O'Leary.